Welcome back to my channel for another tutorial video. Hi everyone, and I'm Mr. Stem, and my channel talks about science, technology, and engineering and math. In this tutorial video, I will go over typical error messages in GNU Octave and MATLAB, and hope this tutorial video is useful how to find and fix the programming errors. The error messages are popped up from many different sources, and we often do not even know where they are coming from. Sometimes we need to spend hours and days, but we still do not know what to fix, and these are very frustrating. Among many sources of errors, I categorize them into five common error types and share the possible solutions. If you are interested in learning them, please stay tuned. Here are the timestamps for each topic, and you can directly jump the topic that you want to learn. During your Octave and MATLAB programming, you often face this error. Probably this error is easy to find since this error generally tells you that Octave and MATLAB cannot find such a variable or M file name. Before I continue to talk about this error type, I will briefly mention how Octave and MATLAB works. As soon as you type commands, either variable name or M file name in commands window, Octave and MATLAB look for existing variable name or M file names on their current working directory or path. For example, you write a very simple script displaying the sum of two numbers. I have A equals 1 and B equals 2 and then save A plus B under C. Then display C. To run the script, you can save it as add2.m and then run by clicking run icon on the menu bar or you can directly type it in the command window. Now you can see c equals 3 which is what you expect. However, if you make a mistake in line number 3 of the script, let's say if you type d instead of b, then you save and run and it generates the error message. Basically, this error message tells you I cannot find the variable d in the script. Typically, it tells you the line number and column number. You can go back to your script and fix it. So, you made a mistake in line number 3, so you can go back line number 3 and fix the typo and then run it again. Then you can see what you expect. Similarly, you can make a mistake on the function or script name. Let's try to run the M file that you just created, add 2.m, by manually typing it in the command window. However, you made a mistake on the command window, let's say add2.num. This will generate the error since Octave and MATLAB cannot find add2num.m in either current working directory or path. For your information, you can check your current working directory by typing pdw in command window. In this case, my current working directory is c Mr. Stem at you. Or check it in the menu bar here. You can also find the registered path by typing path in the command window. Also, this principle applies to the built-in function. For example, you can calculate the sine pi over 2 and the built-in function name is sin. But you typed sine pi over 2 and the error message tells you that sine is not defined in the line number 1 and column 1. So you can simply fix the typo to make your code error free. I show this simple example, but hope this tutorial video provides some insight to fix error for your program. This error is generated by two common issues. First of all, it is related to linear algebra syntax violation. Remember that Octave and MATLAB considers a 1D array as a vector and a 2D array as a matrix. This error is typically generated by multiplying two vectors. People can typically get this error message when they try to plot data. For example, if you want to plot y equal to x squared between 0 and 2, and you can create a vector from x from 0 to 2 and create a vector for y using y equals x squared.
This generates the error message. The reason why we have such an error message is that x squared is considered as a matrix multiplication between two vector axes. To enable the matrix multiplication, the column size of the first matrix must agree the row size of the second matrix, and in this case, it does not agree. To fix this error, you can use elementwise operator dot star symbol. Now, to fix this error, you can use elementwise operator period before the operator. So in this case, dot hat. Now you're good to go. Secondly, this error is related to mismatch between left side of the equal sign and right side. Again, consider x equals minus 1, 0, and 1. If you try to replace the first element with 1 and 2, you need to use x1 equals 1 and 2. This will generate the error since you try to replace the single element with 1 by 2 vector. To simple fix will be, you can simply match the size between left and the right side of the equal sign. And in this case, you can use x1 equal 3. I showed this simple example, but hope this tutorial video found useful to fix error for your program. This error is related to index misuse. Consider 1 by 3 vector x again. If you want to access the fourth element by typing x4, which does not even exist, it generates the error message since it exceeds the matrix dimension or size, which is 3. If you have such an error message, you may want to check if you are violating the index use. Actually, this usually happens when you use algebraic expression in matrix index. For example, if you want to use xi equals xi plus 1 plus 1 and wrap up with a for loop, and it will exceed the dimension of the variable x at the maximum size. So in this case, when i reach 3, and i plus 1 make 4, which exceed the size of variable x, which is 3. To fix this error, you can subtract 1 from the maximum size, and you can fix the error. Then, you can remove the error message. I show this simple example, but hope this tutorial video provides some insight to fix errors for your program. This error pops up when you use zero or negative integer or floating number for index. Again, I consider 1 by 3 vector x equals minus 1, 0, and 1. And when you try to access 0 or minus 1 for index by typing x0, or x minus 1, it will generate the error. Typical example will be when you use some expression for index such as xi equals xi minus 1 plus 1 with the for loop and when for loop reaches i equals 1, this makes x0 on the right hand side and this will generate the error. One simple fix will be to use i equals 2 to avoid such an error. I show this simple example, but hope this tutorial video found useful to fix errors for your program. This error typically stems from various syntax errors including missing or extra equal sign, period, parentheses, and end and if statement, etc. Basically, this error tells you that Octave and MATLAB gets confused from the syntax that you made a mistake. Consider you build a simple script using if statement. Remember that if statements require double equal signs to compare two statements, 
but when you miss one equal sign, it will give you a parse error. It also gives you a similar error when you miss end statement at the end. Since Octave and MATLAB expect the end statement since you start using if. A simple extra decimal point also gives you a parse error since this is a language that Octave and MATLAB cannot simply understand. In summary, this tutorial video went over the five common errors that you typically face during GNU Octave and MATLAB programming. I showed the source of errors and briefly talked about how to fix the errors by showing simple examples. Hope this tutorial video is useful to minimize the error in GNU Octave and MATLAB programming. Thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel if you want to continue to watch tutorial videos in science, technology, engineering, and math. Please give thumbs up if you enjoyed. Please feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. See you next time.